The CDC says more than 110,000 people died from overdoses just last year, with the majority of those deaths linked to fentanyl. Now, law enforcement agencies across the country say it's still a crisis within their communities. Most Americans who died from those overdoses were under the age of 40. And on this National Fentanyl Awareness Day, Lubbock still isn't immune to what's happening. Here's Kelby Case, Jaxie Pigeon. Jaxie? Well, the day is all about education, and Chad Curry with UMC EMS tells me recognizing an opioid overdose can be difficult, but some common signs you can look out for are slow breathing, pale skin, and an inability to stand on your own. Curry says when in doubt, call 911 because it can be the difference between life and death. We live in a good spot, but at the same time, there's still some issues that need to be addressed. May 9th is National Fentanyl Awareness Day, a time to educate people about the dangers of the synthetic drug in hopes of saving more lives. The addictive opioid is behind a surge of overdose deaths nationwide. Chad Curry with UMC EMS says the Hub City is not an exception. It does impact us, and this just makes awareness to the people to say, hey, uh, you know, the stuff that's on the street is, is not of good quality, or it may be a very strong quality, and, and it's costing people their lives. And unfortunately, it's destroying families. Illegal fentanyl is used to make fake prescription drugs. It's also found laced in common street drugs like cocaine and heroin. The DEA says six out of every 10 fake pills with fentanyl have a potentially lethal dose. It's readily available. People in the streets are going to use what is readily available, what is the easiest and the cheapest to get a hold of. And so, again, the, the easier it is made accessible, that's where the problem lies. Many take drugs with illegal fentanyl without even realizing it, and it's killing them because they are unable to see, taste, or smell it. It's usually coming across the border at that point. It's very concentrated at that point, and a lot of times it's either repressed or it's cooked down and put into vape. Uh, but there's also liquid fentanyl coming across now, and we've seen some more of that is that's placed on like acid tab paper, and so they can absorb it, uh, just the liquid through their mouth. First responders sometimes use Narcan, a drug used to reverse the effects of overdoses. So far this year, Curry says his Lubbock-based team has used Narcan 67 times. This is becoming a new issue uh, that we're having to deal with because our Narcan works great for that opioid, but it doesn't for the tranquilizer, and so we, we have to do other things in order to correct that. The CDC says over 150 people die daily from overdoses related to synthetic opioids. That's why Curry says it's extremely important to raise awareness to help save lives. If we can prevent one death, uh, we win a as a team. And so we, we have to draw awareness to that in, in order to try to be successful. The FDA recently approved Narcan as an over-the-counter medication with hopes of giving people more access to the life-saving nasal spray. Curry wants to make sure people know that if you do give somebody Narcan, you still need to contact EMS because it does not, does not last long in your system.